me my coffee. It's early. Nobody else is awake. Good morning, Pepper. So far, since it's morning time, not much is happening. I got my coffee though. And I'm playing some Animal Crossing. So we're having a good morning. It's a good morning. Yeah. Okay. So for breakfast, I want what's called avocado toast. I know a lot of people probably already know what that is. <laughs> However, with keto, you can't really have bread, like pre-made bread. So you have to make your own. So today, we're going to make a chaffle. <laughs> Hopefully it turns out because before it was just too eggy for me. So, but I got a couple, um, I got a couple tips from some keto people. So, I'm going to go ahead and see what I can do about that. Um, and yeah, let's just go ahead and make it together. The most important part that you need for making a chaffle is one of these, like, mini waffle makers. I got mine from Target. They actually have a whole bunch of cute colors now, but this is one of our before they got popular. It's just a little mini waffle maker. Um, even if you're not doing keto, these make like, the perfect waffle sizes. These like make like Eggo waffle size waffles, which are literally perfect. They also make good chaffle size bread stuff. So I'm gonna go ahead, plug this in, and then get it heated up. So I'm gonna need a half a cup of cheddar. There is our cheddar. Then one egg. Alright, got some almond butter. And then mix it all together. And that's the mixture we have now. So, I guess that might be correct. I don't know. It's a lot of cheese, which cheese and waffle makes sense now. Okay, I'm gonna spray it with some avocado spray, my favorite thing. And then. I guess just use half the mixture and we will let it set. So that's what that's that's what we've got. I'll let you guys see how it looks, I guess, afterwards, but we're making chaffles. I'm excited. Okay. These are completed chaffles, but we're gonna turn them into avocado toast. So right now the eggs are cooking while wow, they look so good. And I'm about to go put avocado on those. Wow, I'm excited. Here they are. Honestly, not bad looking. I would probably put everything with the bacon seasoning on the avocado rather than the eggs because it was falling off the eggs, but I'm excited. I'm sad that this popped though. I'm so sad. <laughs> but let's go ahead and do a taste test. I'm, I'm kind of nervous, but I'm really excited at the same time. It's actually pretty good. Um, my only complaint, and it's been my biggest complaint, is that the chapel still has like an eggy texture to it, so I might still play around with it. Somebody kept telling me that like I either wasn't putting enough egg in it, or somebody said that I needed to add almond flour, and it still kind of has that eggy texture, but I'll keep playing around with it. But other than that, it's really good. I'm gonna eat this and drink some coffee, and I'll check back with you guys later. I overestimated how much I could eat. Wow. Wow. So I'm like stuffed. <laughs> and I have a whole another one left. So I might see if Tyler wants this even though he doesn't eat keto. But I'd rather not go to waste. So I will just see if he wants it because there's no way. There's absolutely no way I can eat that. Oh my gosh. I'm so full. I haven't even finished my coffee yet. Gosh. <laughs> now I know for next time I guess. No, I know. Maybe next time, because that recipe makes two chaffles, like it, it genuinely makes both, um, I'll just freeze like the other one or something, and then just keep it frozen for a rainy day. So, oh my gosh, that was so, it was good though, it was so good. But, <laughs> I can't do it anymore. <laughs> so, I, I'm gonna see if Tyler wants that. I doubt that he will, but I'm gonna see. And then I'm gonna finish my coffee and, oh my gosh. 
I will catch you guys. Yeah. <laughs> Bye. Okay, so what you guys just saw was we went ahead and went on a walk because it's such a nice day out. You can't tell because it's too bright. Hold on. Look how nice it is out. Oh my gosh, Pepper is loving it. Anyways, I am about to make some lunch. Um, yesterday, I ended up cooking up some salmon. So I'm going to go ahead and eat the salmon. <laughs> I cooked it for dinner yesterday, but I'm going to have the leftover salmon and then just a salad, but I'm going to keep the salmon cold because I feel like it'd be better for a salad. So I'll show you guys what it looks like after I throw it all together. Okay, here's the salad. Looks so good. I'm so excited. It has the Trader Joe's uh, Green Goddess dressing on it. It's so good. So I'm going to eat this, hopefully all of it. I'm hoping I don't get really full really fast again because it looks too good to just get rid of. So I'm gonna eat that for my lunch and I will check back with you guys later. So I ended up eating all of my lunch and it was super delicious. Um, that cold salmon was like perfect for a or perfect for a salad. <laughs> um, so I would recommend if you make salmon and have leftovers, put it on a salad the next day and like leave it cold. It was perfect because it was cold. It's dinner time! I started cooking dinner. We are having pot roast in the Instapot. Really excited about that actually. The recipe that I'm making is so good. So, yes. That is what we're doing. So, in here I have a roast because how can you have pot roast without a roast? But this one is a keto friendly kind, so it's completely keto friendly. What you want is a two to four pound roast in here, and then you're gonna wanna saute it for a little bit on each side, just so that it gets nice and brown. So like, there you go, and now I'm gonna flip it. Also, it is recommended to go ahead and cut your uh, roast up into chunks, so it'll probably make it easier. While that is doing that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the other ingredients ready, and yeah. So now we have to remove the beef from the Instapot. So once it's all cooked to brown on all the sides, go ahead and remove it. So you're gonna then pour a cup of beef broth into the Instapot. And then once you just kind of go ahead and scrape up any of the brown bits from cooking the meat, because those are gonna add flavor, some real good flavor. We're just gonna add the beef back into there. And now that the meat's been added back into it, we're gonna add our seasoning. So it's smoked paprika, salt, pepper, onion powder, and garlic powder. It's half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, half a teaspoon of onion powder, half a teaspoon of garlic powder, half a teaspoon of pepper, and then a whole tablespoon of salt. <laughs> so just go ahead and add your mixture into it. We're gonna go ahead and lock this and then put it on the meat setting for 35 minutes. Also make sure it's sealed. Then we're gonna do meat for 35 minutes. It's right on there. I will check back with you guys. I guess a little bit about it, so yay. All right, you guys. So I cooked it for 35 minutes and then let it naturally release for 15 minutes. And this is what it looks like. It looks so good. And so now I'm about to pull this out, turn it on to saute, put some xanthan gum in it, and then kind of let it boil and become a sauce rather than just some liquid. All right guys, here's the final product. I think it looks amazing. It's still really hot, so we're gonna let that cool for a little bit. Um, but I cut, I brought the chunks out while the sauce was boiling again, and I just sliced them up, and then I went ahead and thickened the sauce, so it turns out to be more of a sauce, and delicious, and then I threw it all back in and mixed it for just another minute or two so that the sauce gets kind of cooked back into the meat and it looks freaking amazing. Wow. So I'm gonna have this, Tyler, and some are gonna have it with some mashed potatoes, but I'm so excited. I'll probably also throw some veggies on the side, but 
that is dinner. Doesn't it look so good? This is such a great recipe. I would highly recommend it. Highly, 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 highly recommend it. So, that is for dinner. And guys, believe it or not, I have been on the phone with friggin' Netgear for the past hour and a half trying to get our new router fixed. And I can't understand the guy for the life of me. It's great. Hey guys, so I forgot to film an outro for this video. So basically this turned into what I eat in a day with keto and honestly, I actually just really wanted to update you guys also because I felt like this was like kind of the perfect opportunity to be able to since I showed you what I eat in a day and I'm extremely proud of myself because this is very, very true as of recently and that's why I wanted to make this video was because of how true and real I've really been to sticking to what I should be eating and not what I want to be eating because we all know that those cravings are horrible but I'm honestly so extremely proud of myself and I hope that this encourages you guys to you know keep on pursuing and you know give the good fight because it's worth it because honestly through all this like it's been hard like a weight loss journey is not easy and it's something that you have to give yourself kind of credit for but also push yourself along so i had originally lost about 30 pounds back in 2018 you guys saw those vlogs if you haven't seen those vlogs go check them out they're, they're just they're still on my uh videos but it's been hard ever since then because i've tried it i stopped it you know like going back and forth and stuff like that um and back in november i actually ended up losing 20 pounds again with doing keto and doing it you know consistently um but then i had my gallbladder removed my hair looks weird and it's bothering me um but then i had my gallbladder removed and once that happened i just felt like i really needed to take it easy and light on my body um but then there was a point where i started not taking it easy and light on my body and it wasn't necessarily keto it was everything else in the world because I was no longer in pain and nothing triggered a gallbladder attack for me honestly trying to get back into it has been so hard and I want to be honest with you guys because I feel like being real will only inspire instead of take away from like anything else right um, it doesn't mean I'm weak it doesn't mean anything like that it just means that now that I'm getting to the right mindset because I strongly believe everything kind of comes from a mindset um, as I'm kind of getting there getting into the good habits and stuff again I'm feeling so much better I'm feeling like I can do it again and I'm just starting to kind of get into the right place so I've been doing strictly keto probably for like the past week and a half and it's been great like it's Tuesday right now so probably like last week was my first like solid good week of like just doing great um and it started since not last friday but the friday before we went to trader joe's and i just bought all of this like vegetables and stuff like that and i've been eating salads constantly ever since um and then just also making sure that i'm taking like really good ha uh healthy fats in i've been just kind of watching what i'm eating um i've been watching my triggers i've been kind of uh substituting my cravings for like keto friendly options not just kind of caving into them <laughs> So I've been doing things that like ultimately have been helping me and encouraging me to just take baby steps because honestly for me personally I'm not one of those people that can honestly just dive in and just cut everything out. I did it one time. I did it the very first time I did keto. The very like when I lost those 30 pounds for some reason I was able to cut everything cold turkey. I haven't been able to do that yet and I'm not letting myself beat myself up for that because I did for a long time. I kept on saying I don't understand why I can't just do it again and I literally would beat myself up so hard for it and don't do that. If you can't cut just cold turkey take baby steps and you'll start forming habits and honestly you'll start getting rid of those like sugary cravings or if you do get those then you'll kind of think okay how can I fix that what can I do to substitute that like for me I love eating Lily's dark chocolate chips those are they're such a good <laughs> they're really delicious and they they are really awesome at satisfying that uh sweet craving um and then also just enjoying cooking and trying new recipes but then also doing things to keep it simple like i the other day made a whole bunch of chicken thighs 
that I can just grab and eat whenever. So like this morning for breakfast, I had eggs and chicken and a couple strawberries. It was so simple, but so filling and so delicious. And if one of my avocados were actually ripe enough, I would have had a half an avocado with it because it just sounded delicious. Um, and that's just where I'm at right now. And I'm excited to see where it's going. I feel like my face is already slimming because my face <laughs> is the first noticeable thing to go. And so I just want to share that with you guys and encourage you guys, like if you can't cut cold turkey that is okay that is okay that is so okay like just keep going don't get discouraged because of fear because you quote unquote messed up like forgive and forget yourself forgive and forget yourself i'm sorry forgive and forget like just move on just say okay you know i did this thing it's okay i'm just moving on like don't linger don't kill your bad habits because of the fact that you messed up that because you made a mistake don't do that to yourself keep pushing keep going and you'll start seeing the benefits of doing that so love you guys i will end the vlog here and i will see you guys in the next one bye